Hi, I'm Sapir and I am a Senior Solution Architect in AWS. Today I'm going to show you how to use AWS Secrets Manager client-side caching library for .NET applications. AWS Secrets Manager enables you to automatically rotate, manage, and retrieve secrets throughout their lifecycle. Applications and users can access secrets through a call to Secrets Manager APIs, therefore eliminating the need to uh, store sensitive information in plain text. Uh, it also allows you to rotate secrets with built-in integration uh, uh, to AWS services such as Amazon RDS and AWS Redshift. Uh, and it's also extensible to other types of secrets. Uh, you can control access to secrets using fine-grained permissions and all actions in Secrets Manager, including retrieval of secrets, is entirely traceable and uh, auditable in AWS CloudTrail. Uh, now, what is AWS Secrets Manager client-side caching? It's an extension to AWS Secrets Manager, but it gives you some additional benefits by uh, storing uh, secrets in a client-side cache, uh, you wouldn't have to reach AWS uh, Secrets Manager APIs every time you need to uh, use a secret. And therefore, it uh, improves your availability because if there are um, network connection losses, for example, or uh, temporarily Secrets Manager service becomes unavailable, you still have access to cached secrets. Uh, it also uh, reduces and lowers latency because uh, you don't have to go through the network road trip every time you need to use a secret. Once the secret is placed in a cache, it can be reused from there for a number of times. And uh, also because you're eliminating or reducing the number of uh, times that you're invoking AWS Secrets Manager APIs and since each API call has a small cost associated with it, by reducing the number of calls, you're also reducing costs overall. Another benefit of the client-side caching is that it automatically refreshes cache secrets, so you don't have to refresh them manually. And uh, its integration is very easy. All you need to do is to add the extension to your application, and then you're good to go. Now, let's see how it actually looks like. First of all, let's take a look at uh, Secrets Manager console. If I go to Secrets Manager in AWS console, I have stored a secret here. So if you want to create a new secret, you can store a new secret using this button. I've already created this secret. As you can see, uh, it's encrypted and there's a secret name and a secret ARN in the description. By default, it doesn't show the value, but if you want to uh, retrieve the secret value, you can hit this button and it will show the actual value. So in key value pair format, subject value, subject uh, secret value and key again secret and secret value this is the secret value. In plain text format it's all stored in JSON format. This is how it's actually stored in Secrets Manager. Okay now let's take a look at a .NET application. Here I have a very simple .NET Core application and the first thing if we want to integrate our .NET application is to add the dependency uh, to the client side caching. Do that, I'll use uh, Manage NuGet Package, the package manager. Now, if you go to the Browse tab, if you search for AWS Secrets Manager, AWS SDK dot Secrets Manager, this is the main AWS SDK Secrets Manager, and there is also this caching library. And if you install it, you can start working with it. I've already installed it. And check here in the NuGet, you can see the dependency is added. All right. Now, I, apart from that, after adding the uh, package dependency, I've created a class here to make it easier to uh, work with the library. So, in, I've called it Secrets User Class. 
which is implemented I disposable. It has two uh, read-only fields here, secrets manager and cache. In the constructor, I'm creating a new secrets manager client and also creating a new secrets manager cache using that client. And uh, since it's implementing I disposable, I also have to implement the dispose method in which I will dispose both the uh, secrets manager client and the cache. And I've implemented one method, an async method. In this case, it's uh, receiving a, sing a single string as parameter and returns a uh, tuple of two strings, subject and secret. What's happening here, it's get, uh, taking the string, secret ID, and invoking get secret string on my cache, on secrets manager cache, passing that parameter to it. Uh, the return result is a JSON string, so I have to parse my JSON string. And that's what I'm doing in the second line. I'm using, in this case, I'm using the uh, Newton soft JSON parser. I'm parsing the JSON string and uh, in return, I will get a object. And I'm returning that object, JO subject and JO secret in my tuple format, or it could be any other object type. And in my main class, um, I'm retrieving the same uh, method from my custom class and I'm retrieving the secrets using the cache and I'm uh, calculating the time that it takes to retrieve the secret. The first time I'm expecting it to take longer than the second time because second time I'm, I expect the value to already be present in my local cache. Now let's run it and see how it works. Yep, as expected, uh, it uh, successfully retrieved the secret from Secrets Manager. I can see the value of my secrets, and also it took much less time the second time. First time it took about three seconds to retrieve the secret through the API call to AWS Secrets Manager, but second time it was less than a millisecond uh, because it was already available in the memory, in the local cache. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.